Welcome to track number 24 of the message of sacrifice. Next one. Sacrifice is important to bring down the anointing and the glory. Turn to Second Chronicles chapter 5. Somebody should read Second Chronicles chapter 5. Verse 6. Ten minutes to go and we'll be out of here. Say it again. Carry on. Was that? All right, verse 13. Hallelujah. Now, notice, notice verse 6. All the congregation were assembled. Is that not so? And they sacrificed sheep and oxen, which could not be told nor numbered. And what happened after that? The glory of the Lord came in. Is that not so? When Obedidom in 2 Samuel chapter 6, where, let's read that one too. 2 Samuel chapter 6. Verse 12. And it was told King David, saying, The Lord has blessed the house of Obedidom, and all that pertaineth unto him, because of the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obedidom into the city of David with gladness. And it was so, that when they that bear the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed oxen and fatlings. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was guided with a linen effort. Amen. Are you there? This is the story of when David was bringing in the ark. The ark of God represented the glory of God. Amen. Notice. Are you there? When the glory of God was being brought, sacrifices were being made. All the way to the glory. To pave a way for the glory. Hallelujah. When Catherine Coleman, a powerful woman, minister of God, full of the anointing and full of the glory, spoke of the glory. Sometimes in the office, the anointing would come into the room. You wouldn't be able to stand. In just in the office. I've experienced that before. And she said, no one knows what it has cost me. Have you read that book, Daughter of Destiny? How many have read it? Get it. It's a good book to get. Daughter of Destiny. You know sometimes you need a good book. It's like a good film. They're not so common. Everybody writes these days. So, to get a good book. Amen. I'm giving you an example of a good book. Women and men. It's a very good book. Daughter of Destiny. Catherine Coleman. It was written by Jamie Buckingham. Very, very good book. Her story and her life and what she went through. It's so powerful. Anybody who's interested in the glory of God and anointing of God should read that book. And it's very well written. You can read it and be blessed. It's called Daughter of Destiny. Have you read it? You get, get one and read it. Amen. Now listen. Listen. Hello. Can I speak to you? 
she said, no one knows what it has cost me. Because she had to leave her husband. Because the husband she had was somebody's husband. She's also a human being. And she also went for somebody's husband. So she had to leave him. And it cost her so much. And women, women's main vision in life is what? Husband, child. Is that not so? So when a woman is leaving her husband that she has been able to acquire, she's leaving her main point, her main thing that she has in life. Some of you women don't agree. <laughs> it's a very big summary of a generalized summary of a woman, but I mean, I believe that you're, there's more to your life than that. Amen. But generally, it's what I'm saying is true. How many think what I'm saying is true? And she said, no one knows what it has cost me. Sacrifice every six steps to bring the glory from Obedidom's house to Jerusalem. Sacrifice untold numbers of oxen and sheep that brought the glory into the temple of the Lord. And there was glory there. Glory. Glory. You want to have the anointing? Many hints that I won't lie to you. How long do I pray? He was asked. I think less than three hours every day. I spoke to an interpreter who worked with Benihin. He told me that when they travel and they get to a place, he said that they go to a new city. All this team of people who work with Benihin, they all go out during the day like it's a new town. They've not been there. They go out. And so I said, Benihin will be in his room the whole day. He said that in the evening, they will all be there. And Benny will come out of his hotel room. He worked with Benny for some years. And he said, he'll come out of his room. He said, guys, are you ready? Let's go. That's all. And they go to the crusade. And they said, no. He said that, he said that for one thing that he has learned from Benny Hinn is the anointing and the glory. He said that there are times that on the stage, it's thick like a cloud that you can touch. Thick on the stage. Very heavy presence like you are walking a real cloud it's very wild he said that for one thing that he has seen for the years that he worked with Benihim is that thing of the anointing and no one knows what it costs somebody to be in the anointing or to have the anointing sacrifice all the way you don't even pray for five minutes and you want the glory of God on your life you don't even pray for 30 minutes and you want the anointing and the power and the healings it's not like that go to your bible and see you've got a sacrifice to bring in the glory of god on your life and your ministry end of message amen (laughs) hallelujah We hope you have been blessed and transformed by this camp. To get the most out of it, you will need to listen to it over and over again. Make sure you listen to all the other camps in the Macanay. Don't forget to stop by our website at www.dagewoodmills.org. Here you can download other messages, videos, and find out about all the books and other resources available by Dag Mills. May God bless you in your ministry.